Bouncy Ball has come a long way since the early 1900s. Now it is an extreme sport played on the streets. This documentary will be taking a closer look into this new craze. Are you happy with the chess? I'm happy. I would have preferred a different colour, I reckon. Different colour. But it's still bouncy. Dream Bounce Ball is bounce anywhere. Overground, underground, in private, in public, anywhere possible. But sometimes so things do go wrong. Surely there's got to be a way to get your Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, Chaser shows how much dedication is needed to become an extreme bouncy baller, as after her first attempt fails, she goes back under the fence and retrieves the ball. <laughs> Why do you like this extreme bouncy ball? Well, it's just, you know, it's the unpredictability of the bounce. Unpredictability? You know, on the floor, it's going to go left, it's going to go right. Do you know the ball? The bounce? Yeah. What do you think of it? Nothing. That's one ball. Extreme bouncy ball then. I like it. Would you like to have a go? The risks in extreme bouncy balloon are clear to see. People in the street still don't understand extreme bouncy balloon and show no respect to the bouncy ballers. Sorry, could you mind out the way please madam? Yeah, don't laugh about it, just fuck off. Yeah, whatever. Spreading the bouncy love. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, why do you like to play with the bouncy ball? I haven't had a go yet. I've just been filming you fuckers. <laughs> what a free run and the police have taken a general dislike to extreme bouncy ballers. Doesn't this tempt you to want to have a go? Sleepy. So you're saying that bouncy balling is more extreme than the, the science? <laughs> My lawyers have told me not to say anything. <laughs> Just trying to get this out on the streets to the real people. <laughs> <laughs> My children will be bouncy balling from an early age, that's for sure. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever stop bouncy balling? Never. Both are new.